Hey, buddy, watch this. Hello, hello, Regis Kilbin is the name, and Hearthstone is the game, and this is a deck spotlight on a new Quest Rogue deck that was created by the pro player Coco Sasa, but it's a Quest Rogue deck in the Kobolds and Catacombs era. We haven't seen Quest Rogue since the very beginning of Journey to a Girl, but here it is. It's back, and this deck was played all the way to the top 10 spots on the Legend Ladder, meaning it does something right. Now, you might be asking, why has this card made a return in Kobolds and Catacombs? There are essentially a few new cards in the list that help the consistency of actually activating the quest, allowing you to play multiple minions much more easily. I think most namely of those is Sonya Shadow Dancer. This one, of course, anytime a friendly minion dies, you can add a 1-1 copy of it to your hand, and that card only costs 1. So if you get multiple flame elementals on the board, for instance, you can trade them in. Sonya can give you multiple flame elementals back in your hand. You can even do crazy stuff with charging minions, like South Sea Deckhand or Patches, where you just kill patches and play it again and kill it and play it again and kill it and you could get five instant activations exactly like that so this card's not like the centerpiece of the deck it's not the only way you still have all the shadow steps and the gadgets and ferrymen's and youthful brewmasters that you had in the past enabling you to complete the quest but this just adds another interesting and powerful tool that makes it just that little bit more consistent and easier on top of that there's also zola the gorgon which is essentially another bounce style card of course this one allows you to keep the minion on the board which has some benefits but yet another just piece of the puzzle that adds to consistency and then finally elven minstrel another card which just allows you to draw minions so when you're able to consistently bring those minions into your hand you're more likely to find that second piece or another another bounce style Gadgets and are youthful to help you find all your bounces. So this again just makes it a little bit more consistent when completing your quest. And when you add all these different boosts to your consistency into the list, suddenly it's a lot easier to overcome that hurdle of playing the same minion five times instead of four. In other words, the post-nerf versus the pre-nerf version of this deck, bringing it more in line with how easy it was in the pre-nerf era, although still probably arguably not quite as strong as it was pre-nerf, because clearly this is not a tier one deck that's all over the ladder. It's more of a kind of niche deck that only pro players who really love this deck are going to find success with. All that said, I think it's not as frustrating anymore as it used to be, and I'm okay with playing a sort of deck like this, and I wouldn't mind seeing this pop up as an alternative option for Rogue, because this could slot into some pretty interesting spots in the meta, where it essentially counters control decks that are super greedy, just because it has so many 5-5s five and so much instant damage from all the chargers and all those other pieces, so I wouldn't mind this one finding some success. So all that said, now that we've broken down the deck a little bit, what I'd like to do is just go ahead and jump into some gameplay of the Coco Sasa, Quest Rogue as it was recorded live on my Twitch stream. Do you know? I think Corridor Creeper is good, but I don't think it needs a nerf. They should nerf Ice Block, Bone Mary, and even Scale Bane before Corridor Creeper. It's a fine opinion, I think, Boris Dude. Aha! The only good deck I have is Raza Priest, and Dragon Priest isn't as good. So what next? Oh my god, how do we mulligan, guys? I, I just don't know what to do. I have no idea how to play this, how to mulligan this, or anything. <laughs> I just do not know how to play Quest Rogue right now. I'm just gonna let it unfold and see what we can learn, right? Let's let's uh, let's just learn. I, uh, I think Firefly is a pretty good base to start with. Feels like maybe it's okay. But we don't have any Shadow Steps or um, stuff. Well, I mean, because Flame Elementals, though, we don't necessarily need them yet. But, uh, okay, there's a Bounce. I think we're just going to deal with this first, though. Sonya is interesting. Quest Rogue. I know, right? Quest Rogue. This is something totally different for Regis. When did you get uh, 60 on your Rogue? 60? Long time ago. I don't know. I got 60 forever ago. If you mean 500 wins, um, that was also, it's probably been a couple months ago. A few months ago. Regis, what happened? You had him on turn, two turn lethal. I turned around to talk to my roommate and then you're dead. Oh boy, it was, uh, it was tough. You're supposed to combo charges with Sonya. Yeah, that makes sense. They come back instantly, right? But uh, I think we're going to go Firefly Path right now. 
Because we have full bounce, like, or we're very close to full bounce on this. So, um, is there other flame LED generators, or is the Firefly just as likely to go off? Alright, we'll see if Sonya sticks or not. If we can trade in this flame LED with a Sonya, then we'll, we'll be on the flame elemental path, not on the Firefly path. There's only one other flame, there's no other flame elemental generators, so. Still better to, to go for the uh, bounce on the actual fireflies, of course. Costs a little extra mana to play out your quest, but um, you get extra bodies for the eventual five fives, in my opinion. Throw everything except bouncy boys in quest. That's the old mulligan strategy, yeah. I'm sure it still holds up, but... Uh, I really don't know. But anyway, uh, Terra Cackla. Terra Cackla, thank you for the Twitch Prime sub, Terra Cackla. That's awesome. So yeah, we could do um, South Sea Deckhands now, actually, as the plan with Sonya. That's pretty insane. Um, just to clear this minion, right? Like, Kingsbane gets buffed. Goes up to 3-3. Three, three. Sonya dies for sure. Do we trade in the Flame Ellie too, just in case? How many South Sea Deckhands am I going to have? I'm going to have played two, I'm going to get two back, and then I'll have Youthful Brewmasters to get the other the other one. So I guess we're on the South Sea Deckhand plan now. It seems. Maybe I should have traded in the patches for a free patches too, just to get a free patches in hand. I don't know. But uh, we have quests ready to go now. We have two more, and then this will be the third one. Uh, that's one, two, four, five mana. So we can complete the quest next turn. I also have a decent little board, too. We need a prep now to play the quest. It's a really big Kingsbane. Holy crap. Is he just going face? Does he trade? Headwind. Um, a Vanish would be pretty good here. Old Light Oracle. I think we stress about that. Okay, here we go. He pretty much pretty much needs to clear this board here. Because they're all going to be 5-5s. Five Every minion he kills here is a 5-5. Five five. Uh, Ultimate Windfestation with the sub as well. Thank you, Ultimate Windfestation. Good name, too. Nicely done with the $5 sub. Welcome, welcome, Ultimate Windfestation. Welcome, Terra Cacle. And uh, thank you, guys. Enjoy your emotes. Enjoy your new sub badge. All that fun stuff. Does Recruit Trigger Battle Cry? No, it does not. And that is kind of bad, but you just don't run... You don't run Battle Cry minions. You're fine. Is Liar Priest still viable and free-to-play, and I have budget Liar deck? It seems to be doing fine. Yeah, I mean, it depends on your needs always, right? But but sure, it seems pretty viable. Is he just going to mill me here? Oh, please, God, give me the prep, man. Mill me away, dude. Give me that prep. Oh, we're just going to die. We just... Oh, no, we're not dead, because he didn't clear any minions, and we're just going to do... <laughs> that's 35 damage on board, so... <laughs> So yeah, that's uh, that's pretty good. Sonya is OP, guys. Sonya was absolutely ridiculous there. That is great. Um, Death the Noob says, "Hey, Regis, just wanted to drop in and say hi. I'm working at Target right now. Nice man. I've had uh, so many friends who have worked at Target. Friends and family members, like all worked at Target. So many people. Hey, Perkshanks. Uh, Perkshanks, dude, check your Twitch whispers, man. Oh, you did. You did. You responded to me." Never mind. You know you won. <laughs> I didn't think you'd responded yet. You have. I was trying to tell Perkshanks that he had won one of the Twitch sub giveaways, guys. But uh, it turns out he knows that because he already responded to me. Well, anyway, congrats, Perkshanks. <laughs> Has anyone found the key Ben Brode was talking about? Um, I didn't. What's? I didn't know what that is. What does that mean? Like the key on the on the on the board? We found the key on the board. But uh, oh, look at this bouncy dude. Bouncy boy, bouncy boy. Tentacly boy. We call everything boy because we're memers. Be sure it's spelled B-O-I. Proper way to meme. 
Put Feral Gibberer in the deck. Oh my god. I have a paper due at midnight. I'll be back in an hour or so. Nice, I made Old Dessert. Go finish your paper, dude, please. Sounds like you're cutting it close. The key on the board. Yeah, we found the key on the board a lot. That was sort of a day one find. Um, okay. What are we going to bounce here, guys? Stone Tusk is probably not the right bounce target. We only have two bouncies so far, so that puts us at three for the quest. <clears throat> We're not exactly close yet. What did you think of Raynad's Face Hunter? I was able to make it rank five for the first time using it. Yeah, I enjoyed playing it. It was pretty cool. When will it be sending out the giveaway codes? Uh, Redbird, probably... Uh, maybe tomorrow, but probably actually Saturday. I'm going to be pretty loaded down tomorrow. I'll try to hurry, though. Maybe maybe late tonight, actually. I'm going to be staying up late tonight. So maybe just late tonight. That's probably better. Holy crap Oli. That's a lot of dudes. Um, I mean, we can push through a little bit with patches and stone tusks just to stay alive. But is that really worth it? I don't know if it is. Is the prep mimic pod worth it, alternatively? Leaves me with three mana. Not a lot to do, though. Ugh. Oh. What would I Mimic Pot into that I'm happy about? I might need to save the prep for a Vanish. Right? Like, let's just Mimic Pod. Valera. I don't think that's what we wanted. <laughs> I'm fairly certain. Valera's not what we wanted off the Mimic Pod. Oh, crap. This doesn't look good, guys. This doesn't look good at all. Oh, boy. I think we're dead. This is not looking great. What did he get? Oh, of course he got damage. Yeah, yeah. That makes a lot of sense. Uh, I guess we stone tusk patches, right? Do I bounce the stone tusk? No, I can't. I can't do that. I can't really do that. We are so screwed. I have no plays here. Oh god. This is not good. We got three bouncers, but no target for the bounce right now. Uh, why Gorgonzola, but no Sonya? We do have Sonya. She's right here. Both. Hey, Riz, before I go, just wanted to give you a suggestion. Try Renounce Darkness with Void Lord in the deck. It works really well. <laughs> Why does that work really well? I don't understand. I don't get it. Hey, Jeremiah. Hey, Angry Wombat. Hey, Gohan. Egg Hunter. That sounds pretty cool. You know what else also sounds cool? Staying alive sounds pretty cool. We're going to prep coin into Valera. Right? That works. She's not a minion. That's definitely a thing that works. We're just gonna bounce Brewmasters, guys. Brewmaster is my target, guys. <laughs> just bouncing Brewmasters. <laughs> That's what you gotta do. Just cycle Brewmasters. It's great. <clears throat> the gifting cheers thing is if someone cheers 250 more and everyone gets a Twitch present, I think. But what is a Twitch present, I wonder? That's what we... I don't know, X-Buddy. Did we ever figure it out? Did Jerk's answer? He spotted Lethal, guys. He spotted it! Good job. Uh, Costco Chicken Bake subscribe with Twitch Prime. I knew it! I knew we were gonna have a long and beautiful friendship. Costco Chicken Bake. I had a feeling. You've confirmed it. You've confirmed my suspicions. Here we go. This is a, a journey together that will never be forgotten. Our love will be shared... For the ages, Costco Chicken Bacon and I go, we're going to go back a long, long way. Just give us some time. <clears throat> Reedus, what do you think about Questless Mage? Uh, it seems like it's just bad. <laughs> it was like popular for like three minutes on launch day, I think, and then uh, that's it. That's it. Could keep a Firefly, but I, I want to get the Bouncers, mostly. That was the most difficult lethal I've ever seen. Yeah, I know. For some reason, I have the worst golden legendaries. At least you got golden legendaries. I only have a handful. I've been playing for a long time. 
and don't have very many golden legendaries. I have disenchanted a handful, I guess, a couple, but still. You'd think I'd have more. What is up with this garbage every time? Why always patches? Three minutes, is that an accurate number, Regis? Sure, I don't know what we're talking about. I don't know the context, but yes, sure. My first and only golden legendary was Blood Queen Lanathel. That's a, that's a great one, dude. Lucky you. <laughs> oh, God. Hearthstone is cruel today. Is this... I, this is how I remember Quest Road. Never having a hand I liked. It seems the good old days have returned. This is still Quest Rogue. <laughs> Never having a hand you like. Oh my god, the consistency he has is so high, and ours is so bad. Gadget Xan, a fairy man. I guess we can freeze the uh, flame imp or something. Buy ourselves a little time. Bounce the shard. I'm fine to go in on shard. We need some defensive utility anyway. We don't have a lot to to bounce yet is the problem. We need to hit some bouncers. Ugh, Blood Fury po Blood Fury potion's so good. Who would have guessed this card is gonna be good? On the taunt too, just makes it harder. Um Well this is garbage. We can't even coin a vanish yet. I also don't have a, a pullback on this guy, so he's going to die and it's going to cost me one of my bounces. You know he's going to trade into it because it looks like that's what we're bouncing into. I kind of want to shard into coin minstrel, but that takes away my coin vanish. So I think we're just going to mimic pod, see what we get. Two bouncers, okay. Can I take one more round of hits here? It's 9-10. Plus whatever other damage he comes up with. Then we can vanish next turn. Oh, it's still so bad. We have two bouncers for this. That puts us at that puts us at only four out of five. Doesn't even get us there. I wish I could vanish and glacial shard. I think I have to do this, or we're just gonna die. I'm not sure that it's right, but I think we have to. It might be worth, um, six, no, five health. It's worth five health. Six health now, yeah, based on that trade. <clears throat> we are gonna vanish off some buffs. We get another bouncer back, so we can kind of change our plans a little bit. Um... I really wish we'd hit a prep, but what can you do? Okay, so we have three bounces in hand. Uh, a top deck glacial shard would be <laughs> pretty darn clutch, I guess. <laughs> that would be something that wouldn't be bad to see at all. Oh, man. Just reloaded the buffs just like that. So, we can play nothing, basically, here. More bouncers, but just no way to utilize them. Um, can't even kill the 2-4 with the South Sea. Could go all in on patches trying to complete the quest, but we're just going to die. He's 11 damage on board. I think this is just a bottom right, boys. This looks like bottom right to me. Reeves, I'm so happy that I'm here. I'm happy you're here, you're here too, Milk Boy. Ultimate Manifestation says, My only golden legendaries I've gotten is King Mukla and that priest legendary from the old gods. Harold Volage? I love Harold Volage. Hey, Reeves, why don't you try adding some of the skeleton cards to this deck? You could use Grim Necromancer and Bone Baron for the one mana, one one skeletons. Um, I think they're just 
too slow. It's not my list, though. I'm, this is the number two Legend list. I don't want to change it too much. Clearly, something's right about it. Uh, it's been played that highly and that well. So I'm not going to go tinkering with it too awful much. I want to see how this exact list operates, and then we'll, we'll make some judgments at the end. But going to leave it as is for now. Quest Rogue is dead, yeah. It's felt really bad so far, as you kind of expect. Might be, part of it might be my mulligan choices, I don't know. Like, for instance, we might just need to keep Firefly against Paladin because it, it wrecks their early stuff. Like, let the bounces come, make sure we don't lose on turn two. <sighs> like, Backstab might even be solid in that regard as well, because to kill, like, Knife Juggler. Like, maybe we just mulligan for some greed here, as opposed to, uh, anything else. The gifts are emotes? Jerk says, yeah. So you get, uh, so random people in chat got emotes because Jerk's gifted. Are they permanent, emote, permanent emotes or um, do they just last for a little while? How does it, everything work, Twitch? Tell us, Twitch. Tell us how things operate. We don't know. All right. This looks like a good start here. Prep Vanish might honestly be pretty important for us. We're going to take a lot of damage here early, I have a feeling. Oh boy. Oh boy, oh boy. Mm, we can backstab Hero Power next turn. We can also prep Vanish next turn. <laughs> Let's see what he commits, I guess. We could even Firefly... Coin prep vanish to get um, to get another firefly proc if we're going all in on firefly might be a little early for that though because we don't have any more bounces. I also think it's an early vanish for the record too. The board's not going to be that horrifying, so probably just a uh, firefly bounce here just to get the two three out. I guess we're, we're kind of all in on the flame elemental plan at the moment. We think it's too hairy. We have the prep vanish. We'll see how it goes. I'm still not feeling good about this at all, but... Let's change your hero power to the shadow step hero power. Yeah, that would help. That would uh, certainly work. Just made a value hunter with Zola. And Stitch Tracker seems okay so far. Nice time, Master. You got a lot of resources, it sounds like. Tempo sounds like a bit of a challenge, but hey, as long as you can go long. Any recommendation for budget decks? Not yet, Jeremiah. I'll be making some budget decks for too long, but uh, right now I just don't know. It's too early to say at the moment. <sighs> How do you deal with five fours in this deck, guys? Uh, we can Sonya South Sea, but we have no weapon up, so that sucks. Is this already a, just a prep vanish, guys? Just Firefly prep vanish? I think we have to. I don't really see a choice. We're gonna die. Why is this such a weird color? Why is this such a weird color? Why was that red? What the heck was that about? Do I go ahead and play this? It's kind of bad against Rallying Blade. Nah, let's just save the coin. It's fine. How are we ever going to get there, though? It, it, we're just always so low. We're just playing too much aggro. If you had to nerf any standard card, what would it be? Jade Idol right now, still. The emotes last until January 1st. Ah, so, so certainly just Christmas emotes, it sounds like. Oh, if only we could freeze Finja. Man, oh man. Weirdly enough, we're like on the Firefly plan at the moment, not the Flame Elemental plan. <laughs> um, which kind of sucks, because we, uh, we don't have a way to get to 5 just yet. It's not what I'm looking for. Mm, I want to play this, but that gives him a Finja. We could just Hero Power and try to slow roll. And he may not have a guaranteed Finja now. He probably still does, right? There's a lot of ways he can get Finja buffed and do cool stuff, but it's not guaranteed at this point, so let's hold. 
Sonia, it would be cool to leave this on board to make Sonia better, but it's just not going to work, I don't think. Well, no spikered seed's a good sign. Megasaur probably gives him the kill, though, that he needs. We don't have another Vanish, so we are in trouble. Plus three health actually doesn't give him the kill. Interesting. Okay, we can freeze the Finja now. We also have the... We also have the ability to go in on the spell at this point. I don't know if it's going to be enough, though. Well, I mean, we can't play the spell yet, but... We can, uh... We can proc. That's four mana. Leaves me with two mana. I can freeze something and... Kill nothing. <laughs> We're going to have so many minions to play, but uh, no mana to play them without a prep. Yeah, we're just gonna die. That's the other problem. I'm actually gonna freeze this because it's just more damage. I think it's gonna be better for us than uh, the alternative. Playing as many minions as possible to make that much, much stronger next turn, right? <clears throat> we might be able to swing this back. It's possible. I doubt it, but it's possible. Because if these are all 5-5s, five they can clear a lot of stuff, or maybe just kill him, right? Six five fives is theoretically lethal. We have six, but he's going to kill a couple. But we have a charger as well, so that's... we have. If we drew like a... Oh, we have a patches coming out too. So we're actually going to be really close to lethal here. He's, if he plays the secret, we can test it with our weapon. That's fine, just don't play a taunt. Divine Favor. So this is 20 and this is 10. That's 30. So I think we have lethal, right? Just test with the weapon and we're good to go? As long as we don't draw patches. Well, even drawing patches would be fine. <laughs> oh no, that was my weapon charge! Oh crap! Oh no! Shoot! Crap, 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 crap. So it just had to not be... Oh no, we had to test Noble Sack though too. Oh no, that was our weapon charge, now I don't have the mana! No! No! <laughs> no! There's no lethal now, right? We only have 25 at this point. Uh, <laughs> it's not an oops. It's not a mistake. We had to check the... We had to check the, the thing, guys. Like, it was mandatory. It absolutely had to be checked. That was not an error. But we might lose anyway now. We had to check. It's just unfortunate that it was eye for an eye, right? Like, we only had one charge. Ugh, that's tough. Was there an objectively better play or not? I don't know if there was. Sunkeeper Tarum. Okay. Well, we're still alive. We have some charge damage here as well. We can infinite charge with, uh, with this. Well, not infinite, I guess, but it can charge twice. We can clear again, but we're just going to die, I'm afraid. Okay. Wish something had five attack here to kill that. Gonna trade stuff off, right? I might as well. Well, we're just gonna trade one thing off, so. I think I'm just gonna die to a weapon, though. Oh, I should have froze his face. This was a misplay. I should have just traded the board and froze his face. I'm, I'm on tilt. Uh, we just lost. It's my fault. We should have froze his face. This freezes minions. I mean, 
heroes and minions, so it's just my fault. We just lost to a weapon, and it's 100% my fault. <sighs> well, that sucks. I could have just traded off and froze his face. What an idiot. Ah! I'm so tilted from the stupid secret play. Oh my god. I'm ashamed now. Uh, what do you do for your day job? I uh, work for a software development company. I am the director of marketing. I made a budget hunter tech I made for a friend. Nice. Good job. I'm going to be doing that soon too. I'm going to be doing that soon too. At least he kills you with legendary. It makes it no less, uh, no less enjoyable to lose to your own fault. We would have absolutely won too. Ugh, that's tough. That one hurts. That sucks. Oh my gosh. All we had to do was freeze face and just trade, and we were gonna just demolish. It was just a complete misplay. I spotted it right away, too. Like, I was so mad as soon as I did it. Like, <laughs> my brain was like, no, you idiot, stop. Stop. Stop, stop, stop. But I did it anyway. Just sent the best link ever. I don't see it, Illuminati. Where is it? Let's see. It's a YouTube video. I can't quite watch YouTube videos. Oh, just 10 hours of epic sax guy, huh? <laughs> That's the best link ever, is it? That's what we've come to as a society. That's our standard for best link uh, ever. Reeves, I got Rune Spear for free. Should I just dust it? Bunny, it sure seems like you should. Sure seems like you should. But, uh, I mean, things can always change. It just looks so terrible. It looks so objectively bad. I'm really sad I lost that game because we, we played it out. Like, we, we gave it all, you know. We, <laughs> we went for it, man. We were so far behind. I think we played beautifully until the end. We played it perfectly until the end. And then we just threw it all away. That's so sad. Like a well-fought effort just wasted. A well-fought effort just thrown away. I think we got a prep vanish here, guys. <laughs> okay. We have, uh, we can play three more Fireflies right now. Probably Firefly, Elven Minstrel, Shadow Step, Firefly. Th threw it away. Just threw it away. Oh, I'm salty. I am upset. Does this finish quest for me? No, we're still, oh yeah, it does. Update, you're making me nervous. Let's go ahead and top deck that prep, huh? What do you say? What do you say? It's a shame it wasn't a classic punch the table and close Hearthstone loss. I don't think I've ever punched the table in regards to Hearthstone, but uh, I, uh, I am sad about it, though. Come on. Come on. Prep. Prep. Juicy prep. We're going to need you because we're still taking a ton of damage here. A ton, ton, ton. Oh, why did I freeze the stupid minion? What was I thinking? I didn't take my time is the problem. I just rushed through the turn. I got too excited about the charging South Sea Deckhand Sonya play and just didn't even think through it. Oh, I'm so tilted. Normally I don't mind little little errors in like trading sequences or whatever. I don't care about that stuff. But that was a pretty just major moment to misplay. Pretty unhappy about it. Usually you guys have to tell me too when something went wrong, but that was like instantly just obvious in my brain. Knifey boy. Yeah, he's tough. This card also is tough to deal with sometimes. I must act now. It's a great sale down at the mattress store. Act now, says Arthas. Um, okay, he's going face. Respect. He knows he doesn't have much time, so he's got to go face. I think it's the right play. Because I am dead. Super duper dead. I am just hyper dead. No path to victory here, guys. Elven Minstrel leaves me with one mana. Of 
We're dead. If we had a uh, Freezy Boy, we could have maybe, maybe hung on. Could have, could have froze space, right? <laughs> could have froze space. Ah, <laughs> oh, I'm still this game. I, we never had a chance. I'm just so sad about that last one. Why would you freeze a minion, man? You had a full, you had a full lockdown. Maybe the dude had well, double consecration would have killed me, but not much else. There's no real solace. They don't run consecration, so we would have won just 100. percent Although, were we gonna kill him the following turn? I think we were. He wasn't that high on health. Can you make a darkness deck? Probably not. I, I think it's too hard. I don't know. It might be possible, but I think it's too hard. Big Dragon Druid today? Uh, no. I mean, I already played a lot of Big Dragon Druid. I'm still trying to play new, different stuff right now. Um, so we'll see. Maybe eventually it'll come back, right? Like I like decks like that, but not yet. Alright, maybe this deck will actually give me some time. We've played all hyper aggro and we're just getting Aha. smashed. That was always Quest Rogue's weakness was super fast aggressive decks. They just couldn't keep up. That's why Pirate Warrior was so dominant in that matchup. So we need a slower deck that gives me the time to, to get a bunch of 5-5s five out for free. And we'll see if that actually happens or not. Alright, we got three bouncy dudes, that's good. Saucy deck hand is solid. <clears throat> Chittering Tunneler. Do we go ahead and go in on the South Seas? I'd rather have Fireflies to make all the extra bodies. But, uh, ooh, four mana spell. So what is that? That's probably a spell stone. I guess we just go for the pirate guy, right? That's three, this is four, we're going to be one off on Pirate Guy. We could go for Glacial Shard. But, uh, I like challenging his health total. We don't honestly have to go for either, I suppose. We could just wait. But, uh, we're almost there. With the Vanish, we can actually get there, so. Let's just play the Pirate Guy. He's gonna trade here. Maybe not. He might mortal coil. Let's just hold. We could like preemptively weapon to kill that over two turns, but that's kind of risky. It wouldn't work. Uh, have you played Mill Rogue yet? No, I'm not really into Mill decks that much. People always ask a lot. I don't know. I just don't get into the shenanigans of Mill. I guess. We mortal coil the other one instead. Great. It's exactly what I wanted to happen. 100%. This is degenerate. <laughs> Just charging face over and over again. It might add up to enough, we'll see. Like enough damage, I mean. We're two out of five. This is three, this is four, and this is theoretically five. Plus whatever else we get, you know. He's obviously going to have some shenanigans here. Tar Creeper, just defile. Sure. That's fine. That kills this guy, too. I'm okay with that. A second vanish. All right. I really want an Elven Minstrel, but... I guess it's not time quite yet. We have to leave this one, right? Because we don't have the... Uh... We don't have the next one, so we gotta be careful here. <clears throat> we can South Sea Coin Vanish to guarantee it, but it would only be good if he has like a big board of stuff. Uh, this will actually burn a card of his if we do do the Vanish line here. Oh, uh -huh. Gadgets and Ferryman also makes it easy though. We could Vanish and he'll burn a card though. And we get the Zola back too.
Is this too early to vanish? I can't really kill the... Well, I can kill it. No, I can't. Well, I can. I can create a copy with Zola. Play this. Copy Zola. Zola plays into the deckhand. This puts me at four. The Zola copy puts me at five. And then we could just kill it. Oh, no, I have to attack with Zola. I can't do that. Never mind. I think I'm just going to vanish, guys. It's kind of lame, but... It's so bad, isn't it? It's so bad. We have the second one, though, so it's... In an in a interesting way, it's actually kind of safe. Glad we burned that. Super important clutch card to burn. <laughs> so what's your favorite deck so far? Um, I'm enjoying Control Warlock the most. Definitely not uh, Quest Rogue. Definitely not. Oh my god, we actually drew the other one. So we can buff these. We can play these as 5-5s. Five fives. That's freaking hilarious. We can even play a third. Is this lethal? This is too off lethal, right? Holy crap. <laughs> uh, no, it's not either, because they're going to lose charge as soon as I use the weapon to push. Um, I'm still going to use the weapon. It's, once again, there's not enough weapon charges. You could just clear, I guess, right? Let's just clear. It was almost lethal, right? Oh, that's a good burn! Oh, <laughs> okay. That changes the game a lot. That changes the shape of things. Plus, we have a lot of damage here in Ant. Whole lot of damage. He needs to taunt hard. He needs to clear and taunt. Or heal a bunch. That'll do it too. So how much damage do I have here? 15? Um, I don't think we have enough mana to get to 16, right? I think we're just a little off, right? Coin Gadget Sand. We can Coin Gadget, but we don't have um, the mana to replay it the next time. Okay, but he's still on 5, so. Actually, did it matter that much that it milled Gul'dan? Well, I mean, maybe. Depends on how fast we win the game, right? We'll, we'll see. I don't know. It might not matter, but uh, could have. That's not why we made any... We didn't even make the play. He he milled it himself. We didn't, like, try to mill it. It just happened. <clears throat> so he's got to clear again, and... Uh, we'll just... If he, if he void lords, we just vanish into deckhand and win. So that's not a problem. Yay, we did it, guys. So many deckhands. Oh my god, so many deckhands. <laughs> I played 9 or 10 deckhands that game. Holy crap. 9 or 10. So, let's see. What's our win rate right now? We we absolutely lost a game we shouldn't have lost. So I'm going to count that as a win. <laughs> like, for the deck, right? We're 2 and 4, so we should realistically be 3 and 3. Based on uh, the deck. Not based on Regis, but based on the deck. Hey, who cares? One, two, three. How's it going? Um, are you going to be Santa this year, Regis? No. <laughs> Why does everybody want me to be Santa? What's going on? Everybody wants Santa Regis. I don't know why. Has Valera ever mattered? We have not seen Valera be played. The game always ends long before Valera has been relevant. I guess she's still pretty good with chargers and stuff. Oh, this hand is clunky. Oh boy, this is a clunky hand, guys. Can you comment on HS Replay on that win rate by class percentage, please? Do you think it's okay? Um, I don't know where to find that exact filter on HS Replay. 
Where do you find win rate by class percentage? I'm not even sure what that means exactly, what you're getting at. Um, I know that Paladin has the only two Tier 1 decks on HS Replay. I know that. Beyond that, though, I'm not sure what you're looking at. It's a lot of vanishes, guys. <laughs> this hand is a little bit awkward. Just one, you know, bounceable minion would be pretty cool, I guess. Just one. Just one bounceable dude. My god, so many vanishes. He's gonna have to really slow start. I think that's good for me. He has patches in hand as well. That's pretty exciting. So this is one, two, three, four, five. <laughs> if we want to commit to vanishing it. Um, not really sure it's worth. Let's wait till we can actually freeze some stuff to play it, right? I think we can slow roll this one given our uh, hand state here. <clears throat> oh, here we go. I see what you're saying. Oh, that thing on the homepage. Yeah, yeah, I've seen this before. Um, yeah, Shaman and Warrior suck. Beyond that, it looks okay. Um, as you'd expect, though, Shaman and Warrior suck. I think that's unfortunate. I think Shaman... It's probably better than it's letting on. People are just probably experimenting too much and not playing real Shaman decks. But uh, Warrior, I think, is really, really struggling. So, yeah. What's the best Legendary Craft? It's hard to say right now. Really hard to say right now. Um, are we better off with Glacial Shards in this matchup since we're kind of defensively playing here? They don't do much this turn, I guess. We could just freeze this and bounce it. I don't hate this. Just re weapon. We're already on vanishes, but not on Glacial Shard into Vanish. So. Three vanishes, though. A lot of defensive power there. One prep would make me feel a lot better. So this will put me on two, this is on three. We can still, of course, get there. It's just going to take a little while. Elven Minstrel. All right. Could backstab here, freeze here again, shadow step here, and uh, Elven Minstrel to follow. That looks fine. Can do this next, see what we get. We might get Glacial Shards and change everything, right? Or a Glacial Shard, I should say. Uh, okay. Mm. Aha. I can actually kill the 3-3, three, three, which means I should have frozen the 1-2. Uh, but I think I'm just going to hold anyway. This doesn't actually trade very well right now. Um... All right, let's yeah, let's just hold. Oh, we would have got a patches though. Oh crap! I forgot about patches. Patches would have allowed me to kill the one too, and send the deck hand face. I don't know what that would have actually accomplished, but I wouldn't have hated it. He's super slow rolling me. It's weird. There we go. This is the vanish we were looking for. Thank you. Vanish into uh, well, glacial shard face into vanish looks good here. Maybe even into deck hand just to get some board. I uh, should play the one that was not the Mimic Pod, just in case he's watching closely. Doubt he is, but it's always possible. Yeah, let's just get these out. <clears throat> they might die to SI7 agents, but that's okay. If, if it buys me face time, we're not planning to win via pirates anyway right now. We're planning to win via Glacial Shard. Plus Sonya is pretty cool with these two. <laughs> like we might just make a Sonya play as well. That's six mana. We have all the all the time to do that. He's still going face? Why was he targeting this one? Oh he's not. He's still going face. Okay. 
So yeah, we can make a Sonya play. Uh, we could bring back uh, two two South Sea deck hands, right? Uh, this is three, five, six. Yeah, we can bring back two South Sea deck hands for trades. Um, so that means we trade here, trade here, trade uh -huh. here, trade here. We actually need to freeze freeze this, I think. Uh, actually, wait, why don't we just complete the quest, uh, alternatively. Now nah, we can't this turn, can we? So Sonya is probably actually still better. I mean, we can complete it this turn, but... Yeah, let's actually just freeze one of these. So those are both 5-5s five next turn. I think I'm going to hold... Well, I get one back anyway. Might as well use it. What does it matter? Sure. So if things get super hairy, we can vanish. Otherwise, we crystal core. And we need a prep. I'm just seriously dead. I spent 45 minutes... Orchestrating that turn. <laughs> Just dead. Gosh dang it. Crap. <laughs> what the heck, man? <laughs> oh, I hate Quest Rogue. <laughs> what does the Prince provide in an Evolve deck? Never really seen much of him. Um, I've never seen that either. I don't know. I wouldn't put Prince in an evolved, evolved deck myself, so I don't know. I don't know how, guys. I don't know how to win with this deck. I mean, I do. We, we're, we've been really close. We threw one game. I guess that uh, that tells us a little bit about how to win, but beyond that, I don't know how to win. So, we'll keep trying. Well, we're not going to keep trying for too long. We're going to give up eventually. <laughs> Give up eventually. We're uh, we're we're two and five. That should actually be three and four, which is not that terrible. It's not ideal, but it's not that bad. <clears throat> One against a golden hunter with a meme zoo deck with a soul fire to the face. Nice. How do you have a meme zoo deck? What exactly does that entail? Sorry, bad typer says Gohan. Oh, no worries, man. We all got things we don't uh, excel at. I'm a decent typer, for instance, but I can't play Quest Rogue for nothing. Will you shave your beard at 1,000 subscribers? Uh, no. That's too close, man. We're at 529. Uh, 1,000 is like... That sounds kind of close. That sounds scary close. He says, well played already. Okay. I guess so. <laughs> I guess I am screwed because it's aggro paladin. It's uh, very difficult to win this matchup, but maybe his hand is garbage, and that's what he's well playing us for. Firefly is honestly pretty good to just play into his board here. It's also a good bounce target, but we don't have any bounces right now. I'm not even sure I'm thinking about bounces. We might just have to try to survive here early. We do have the vanishes, which are cool, but I don't know if that's enough. Am I just going to play all three of my minions here, guys? Just to stay alive? As fast as... As much as possible? I think so. I think it's right. We have to try to stabilize a little bit. We can coin vanish eventually, but... I just need stats on the board, man. I definitely want to take the Divine Shields out of play for Rallying Blade. I know that. Killing the 1-1 one -one was sort of a bonus. We would have traded Divine Shield either way, but... It's only one Murloc. That's not so great. Has the 3-drop Prince team play at all? Yeah, it's even seen play right now a little bit in some combo decks. Oh, I'm so far behind on chat. Holy crap, always. <clears throat> How's Big Hunter right now? I haven't really played a lot, Pujidly. I've seen that it looked okay, though, on a couple stats spots. Like, uh, 
Aces replay implied it was okay. Hopefully we draw a one mana card to play. Well, it's not really the one I was intending, but you know what? Still gonna do it. Make stuff more awkward for him, so sure. Why not? What classes do you guys think are good in Arena now? I have not seen any data yet on Arena J Music. I haven't played any Arena. I heard Hunter was way better, though, because of uh, Flanking Strike is so good in Arena. So maybe Hunter got the got the bump. I'm not sure. Can just weapon that. It's a lot of damage, though. Maybe Mimic Pod into something. Oh, God. Oh, my God. That's That's a lot of stats, man. That's 15 damage on board, guys. I need a prep real bad. Real bad. Glacial Shard. Oh my god. Glacial Shard. That's something, I guess. Um, we're so dead. I uh, am so screwed. <laughs> There's only 12 damage, guys. <laughs> oh, I hate this deck. Man, I hate it. It never seems to work right. It's got to be a mulligan issue. or I think we're just playing too much aggro is actually what it is. I think this deck was being played successfully at High Legend where there are a ton of control decks. But back here on Rank 5 where people are still trying to try hard rank up, I think we're just seeing too much aggro. And it's it's absolutely killing us. So we can Cold Light Prep Vanish. It's actually a great draw. Valyria could buy me some time, maybe. Some of these cards are going to burn. There's not, not that much space left. Oh, I guess there's enough. Oh boy, he burned a Rock Pool Hunter. Awesome. I, there's still just no... We're, we're so far from the quest. We don't have any cards in hand to accomplish the quest. Like, uh... How do you win from here? Yeah, no one's trying to rank up at High Legend. Well, I mean, they are, but it's a very different meta. That's, I don't know that meant to be a criticism or not, but uh, it, it's a completely different environment. You can take your time playing at High Legend, and control decks tend to be more successful a lot of the time, because you can play slower and you're not in as much of a rush to just grind through the ranks. You're playing more finesse game and taking... A little more thought into every matchup and every every uh, every game. Plus, it's early in the season too, so people are just still figuring stuff out. Nobody's super super tryharding yet because we're not even halfway into the month. Um, we might just have to buy ourselves a little time here with the uh, South Sea captains. It's not much time, though, for the record. Uh, this is a copy, so that works out nicely. We're kind of taking some terrible plays here, just to... I'm not worried about this being the quest card. I'm just trying to buy time into this Vanish and figure something out. I don't know. Getting to Valera before we Vanish... I, I don't even know what's possible here. I'm just throwing, throwing stuff at the board and seeing what happens, seeing what sticks. How can I survive here? <clears throat> I don't see a point in crafting patches. It's going to be rotated out soon. Yeah, I think that's a fair... Oh my god. No, 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 no. Not plus three attack. Oh, GG. It's pretty good. Pretty good. Oh, we have to stop playing aggro with this stack. We just can't beat aggro. It's all aggro paladin right now. I do not recommend this for the ladder at the moment, guys. You're just going to get trampled by aggro decks. The one quest rogue weakness is still still the quest rogue weakness. And maybe even more of a weakness because it's slower than it's ever been. Right? It's It takes five now and you've got Valera in the deck. So... Uh, okay. Prep might be worth the key. Prep is so important, but without actual cards to... Oh, my God. Can Valera be right, guys? Valera has been complete garbage every time. Maybe we just haven't gotten a control matchup. And this is why Quest Rogue wasn't a problem in need of a nerf. 
Um, yeah, in some ways. I do agree it had a pretty miserable win rate for a nerf deck. But it was one of those high roll decks where if they drew well, you just always lost and that felt pretty bad. So killing it, I think, helped the game be more fun, if not necessarily more balanced. So it just depends on your, your stance there. Do you think nerfs should be related to enjoyment or always related to balance? And uh, I think both opinions are, are viable and valid. It's just up to the person. How do rotations work? Will I get full refunds? Uh, no. No refunds for rotations. That's only for Hall of Fame stuff. Normal rotations are expected, so you don't get anything out of it. I like cold light. Nerf should be about balance, not fun, says uh, Phaedros. There you go, then. That's, that's your take on it. I think a reasonable take. Is this ever the card you, uh... Is this ever the card you bounce, guys, or is it too expensive? It's kind of expensive for a bounce card, so I don't think so. I don't think you ever want to bounce the gold light. Firefly looks like a pretty good bounce target right now, to me. We could play a lot of Fireflies this turn. It's an early looking dust breaker to me. But what do I know? All right, so we're at two, uh, this is three, and this is four. So we need a fifth. We need a fifth. <clears throat> Any two mana bounce here would be pretty great. Whoa, that's crazy. Holy crap. I have not seen Elixir of Purity yet. That's something. You think this jerk runs a second uh, Duskbreaker this early? <laughs> I'll be a little triggered, I guess. If he does, we'll be able to kill the 5-5 with Patch's weapon, but that would feel pretty bad. So we still need one more bounce. One last bounce. Hearthstone should nerf and buff cards more often so we can change the meta late after an expansion and it's more fun. I do think they don't take full advantage of the fact that they have a digital card game. That's for sure. They uh, have such an easy way to change cards, but they just don't do it. That's a weird play. You know I have a copy, right? Like, it's a, it's a copy, not a... It's a completely dead draw here. Zero bounces available right now. Guess we just trade into that thing, right? Such a terrible turn here. I don't feel compelled to kill this thing, but I don't really have much else to do either. Just gonna hold a few resources here. Minions that turn into 5-5s five are pretty valuable, so... Throwing them out too early can cause some problems, I think. Just getting one bounce here. What do we have? We have, uh, one... Two, three... Four... And that's not really right. Six bounces. So six out of 19. One third chance to draw some bounces here. Whoa, Dragonfire Potion before I get the quest done. That is something. Oh my god. Look at this garbage. <laughs> Triple prep. Oh boy. I mean, Valera is going to get me the bounce eventually. Like soon. We're one turn away from Valera right now. So that's a big old Twilight Drake. Gonna need that vanish, guys. It's a big old Twilight Drake. Uh, backstab. Great, great draw. <laughs> I can prep, I can triple prep backstab. It's gonna be awesome. We're gonna be so good. Valyra, I guess, is fine. I'm gonna have to Valyra to get the quest done. We can prep quest and have a pretty good turn. 
We could double prep. We could double quest, guys. <laughs> double quest. <laughs> I mean, we're not going to take any damage, but... I don't know if we'll have time to recover. We need to vanish, of course, to get rid of this board and, and swing back in our favor here. We have drawn four straight zero-cost cards, guys. We have all zero-cost spells. That's it. Um, I guess I can just backstab this turn freely. Does that remove my stealth? No, I have to attack, right? Okay. For the record, I have not played much Valera. I don't know if we want to do it again. These, are, these don't line up that well against backstab, so... Just hold. I wish I could spend you more bits, but I spent so much money on Christmas. But I'd like to thank you for daily streams. Unfortunately, this could be my last stream. Hashtag blame net neutrality. Hey, X buddy, dude, thank you so much for the bits, man. I really do appreciate it. That's awesome. It means a lot, man. And uh, please spend your spend your money on Christmas gifts. Don't spend it on bits, dude. That is the right decision, I promise. You're always better off going for the Christmas gifts instead of the bits. Okay. So now we just gotta try to swing this garbage. He does not have a Dragonfire Potion, so... There's certainly a chance that we can. I'm from Gilneas. I always like when he says that. It brings me some happiness for some reason. Alright, buddy. Go for it. Let's do this. Let's do this! We don't have many minions left, but everything gets doubled, so that, that certainly helps. That's 25-25 uh, in stats we played that turn. We still have 28 health, so he's a long way to go on damage. Unless he can just buff this and kill me. That's gonna... That's gonna sum it up. Maybe we should have slammed the backstab just in case. Because Divine Spirit Inner Fire here is lethal. I'm sure. It's 25, 26. We're at 20, uh, 28. So we'd be two off with Divine Spirit Inner Fire. That's a good sign. Whew. Double prep. Yeah, we can prep into prep, guys. It's great. Um, is he just gonna, like, Psychic Scream? Like, what? He's not trading into any minions here? Is he not worried about being dead? I'd be a little worried about being dead. Oh, there's the Psychic Scream. It is coming. Cool. Um, I don't mind that at all. That puts me super far ahead on board, I think. Um, like, super far. From Gilnais. Okay, sure. Was a man from Gilnais. It was either this cheer or my kids getting gifts for Christmas. Oh well, they will get over it. P. <laughs> Malignant tits. It was either this year or my kids getting gifts for Christmas. Oh well, they will get over it. Well, if you're only going to spend that much on your kids' Christmas gifts, um. Maybe they were going to be a little disappointed anyway. I mean, I know that everybody can spend a lot on Christmas gifts. That's that's fine, but uh, maybe we should have just went for the, the lethal last turn. Like, we we could have played enough stuff to just kill him, right? Um, but this is lethal anyway, so it shouldn't matter. <clears throat> cool, we played a control deck and we won! Yay! We did it. We won a game. Wasn't a super aggro deck and we won. That's a great way to finish, guys. I'm happy to I'm happy to call it quits there. That felt good. Valera actually finally mattered. Yeah, if you get time, this deck is just completely busted, obviously. Like time time heals all with this deck. Lol. And there you go, that was the Coco Sasa Quest Rogue. Uh, got off to a bit of a rough start there, but essentially the deck felt good. It felt okay. I, I don't know that it felt like a top 10 legend deck necessarily to me, 
But of course, I'm not playing it at the expert level that somebody like Coco Sasa would. So if you're someone who's really versed in Quest Rogue and you miss this style and you think it's a good meta fit, you could give this one a shot. I think you'd still find some success, particularly in lower ranks. You might be able to really carve out a spot where this deck just hammers people and catches them off guard and does things they don't expect and finds a lot of wins. So of course, if you guys have thoughts, comments, or questions on the Coco Sasa Quest Rogue, Please leave those in the comments below, but until then, thank you so much for watching, and until next time, game on.